How do we feel? I'm all right. Okay. Yeah. How about yourself? Feel good, yeah. Dinner nice I and was... cold or you go second order? <laughs> it was fucking cold. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a chicken Philly, Ooh. which yeah. that's the Philly in me. Like, ah, sure, I'll get it. And it was actually, pretty, but they wrapped it in uh, tin foil, so it stayed like it was good enough. I'm hungry as fuck. You were, you were making a great point. Yeah. And you just got. I think my Uber Eats has been sitting down there. For Joe like Rogan says minutes. that your brain works better when you're hungry. That's he's a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does that guy know? <laughs> Nothing. Who's that? Yeah, the lady at the front desk when I went down there. I mean, it had been like 45 minutes. And she, I was like, I, I, I ordered some food. I think they dropped it off. Like, it's been a while. She, what's your room number? Like, you know, 413. And she's like, yeah, I've been calling you for 30 minutes. It's like, I don't want to get into this right now. I just, just poured my heart and soul out for an hour and a half. Just give me my food. Like, I'm here now. Just give me my food. And I told them no makeup today. Ooh. Massive. Yeah. Yeah, you look better today. Thank you. Honest. Thank you. She had to try and create a chin for me. <laughs> Immediately, she goes up to me, she goes, we're going to contour the neck. I was like, I don't even know what that means, but it felt very mean. She asked me, do, do you want your hair like that? It's like, well, I'm wearing a hat all day. It doesn't matter. Situation is, yesterday we did 90 minutes with Harry Higgs. Uh, some great stories, a lot of fun. We also got some incredible insight and learned that we have absolutely no plan and we don't pay attention when we play golf. So, you were talking a lot about going through shots, having a plan, having some sort of plan. Even if it's not, you're gonna hit a perfect shot every time, but here's where my miss can be, here's the shot shape that I want, whatever it might be. If I can't shape it around this corner, I shouldn't be taking driver, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So we're gonna all play, you're gonna play as well. We're gonna have you kind of talk us through I guess the mental side, the planning side, the like having a plan side, sure. because most of the time we as average hacks step up, you got a beer, you got a little breakfast sandwich, you swing and afterwards you're like, I had no fucking idea what I was doing. It. Yeah, yeah. So that's the plan. Yeah, the goal is to plan and garner feedback off of every shot. The feedback is the biggest one for wow, you that yeah. we don't need. That's something if you don't have that's a plan, you can't, you can't have feedback. Right, so. we never talk about yeah. feedback. Nobody's yeah. ever saying like, ooh, hit a pitching wedge just a little short. If you want to get better at golf, it requires a shit ton of feedback. Let's go. If you want to get better at anything, it requires feedback. Yeah. I mean, some people you don't listen to. I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I think you should listen to me in this realm. I, I agree. Like that idea. Some people's feedback, you can tell them to kindly fuck <laughs> off. You know, we got yeah. 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 This is your domain. This is my arena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am in charge. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, Daddy, watch me hit this one. <laughs> okay, come on. Now, hang on. You're going to get the full yeah, treatment. We, yeah, we got to okay. talk about this one. This isn't just step up and whack it. We yeah, so. That one's ready to go. Yeah, exactly. Downwind, par four, what, probably 440? Uh, does anybody know how far those bunkers are? No, no clue. Okay, there's step one. I don't think they're really in play, but you, got, I mean, you probably should know those. Where, where's the trouble on this hole? Long and left. Those, those bunkers, right? Like if you hit a nice shot and it rolled into a bunker, you're gonna, now instead of making a par, having a look at birdie, you might be making four or five, maybe worse. I gotta be honest, we're looking, I'm looking at those bunkers as like, that's a pretty good shot. Okay. When you ask me that's, trouble, I'm looking at the jungle. Okay, yeah, and then there is some trouble further right and further left, but we probably should figure out how far away these bunkers are. 293 to the one on the left. No problem bad. for me. 295 to the one on the right. Not so, yeah, I think we can we can all hit driver. <laughs> I think me included, I could. Bump yeah. I've, I've officially ruled those bunkers out. <laughs> yeah. Trey, we might have to worry about those in three. <laughs> okay, so now you may continue to proceed with your driver. I would pick something out there that you want to start this ball at, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking, with that attitude, that that mindset, I'm looking the left edge of that right bunker. Perfect. And fade it back in, hopefully right down the middle. Perfect. Okay. Wow. Whoa. He did exactly now, what he said. That what we, that we was talked about. One. That was literally what you said to do. Look how happy that kid is. Yeah. It's amazing what that when money. you tell your brain something that like it's it's possible, right? That's like insane. that couldn't have started more on the left edge of that right bunker and it faded. 
All right, so you're one for one. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. Great. Yeah. We talked about that yesterday. That is there is, a better feeling? It. No. Is there a better feeling than Thinking, visualizing? Visualizing, executing. There's Ooh, nothing better in this world. <laughs> it is true, though, about that point that you made of, like, if you think of a shot, visualize and hit it. Like, I remember those better. shorts on, like, mm. shots on a short list of, like. Now, you're a drawer of the ball. Yep. So. We're starting this thing out on the right-hand side. Well, again, Downwind, it's not going to curve a ton, yep. so we don't want to give it too much on the right. Yep, I'm thinking right in the middle of that right bunker. Okay, I'd like to be a little bit more specific. The flag is in the middle of the bunker. Love that. So why don't you small miss ball. Yeah, baby. Why don't you look at that flag and just make your golf swing. Yep. Nice and free, let that ball draw. Two for two. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> that's so perfect. What is this? Couldn't have been any more perfect. <laughs> Let's go. Why don't we be, you know, go. Go. I, I, I a mean, little bit more I'm specific. Gonna, I'm going like, like to be the, the most coaching. coaching. A couple guys that have achieved their goal, a couple guys that have not achieved their so goal. Like you guys have qualified. <laughs> yes. We're not qualified. Yes. Yet. Here's your biggest project right here. Okay. So, but. Let's go, dude. I mean, I cut the ball. Some call it a slice. Okay. And I'm worried if I start it too far that way that I'm going to hit those little trees. Okay. So now you and I would think a lot alike. Like okay. I, so for me on a hole like this, I would probably just grab my three, you know, just three wood and hit a wedge. Okay. Then I stop worrying about those trees over there. Are you comfortable hitting, trying to hit it higher? Yeah. Okay. So why don't we go ahead? If your balls, if you're pretty certain that your ball is going to fall right, which you've just mentioned that it is. Yep. Why don't we maybe move it up in your stance just a fraction to give it some height okay. and aim, like get back here and visualize that ball flying, starting high, going over that tree and falling right. When you're aiming at something that is trouble, you gotta, you gotta reach down deep and like commit. This ball has to be high, whatever you're gonna do, it has to be high and it has to fall right. Okay. Let's just do your best to do that. I knew it. I knew it. Stop. Some play. I tried to lift up on it. Okay. We got some feedback, right? Yeah. You tried to hit one high <clears throat> and you did it. You didn't allow the club, you know, your person, your body, your swing to do the work. You yep. tried to force it in the air. Yeah. Next time we try to hit it high, I mean, it's just as simple as like staying down and allowing the club to do the work, totally. right? I mean, it's not, you, yes. You hit a terrible shot there. For sure. But you learned something because you had a plan, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Next time somebody, I need to hit one high or I need to get one up over trees, I don't need to do it, you know, this way. Right. Trust because you put that ball further up in your stance that that club is going to kind of get there with some loft. It's going to pass and it's going to launch up in the air. You want to do it again? Yeah, I do. Let's move it away from that so you don't have to see that. I mean, you can even tee it higher. Yeah, tee right? higher is probably the move. Everything you should be doing right now, job one is getting this ball as high as you can. Yeah. Let the club head pass your body through. None of this right. back and we're set up to hit it high. We got it teed up higher. We got it in the front of our stance. Let that club head pass your left side. Okay. Boom. Oh, Bang. Amy. Bang. T. There we Bang. There's the trend. So yeah. now, could you feel just a little bit of a difference between those two? Absolutely. Obviously, you can tell because of the, how you struck it. Uh, yeah. So now, you've got a plan and idea of how to get one in the air yep. when necessary. Right. Done. Okay. Great golf shot. Thank you. Awesome. Good ball, Thank you. Great golf shot. Ball, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Riggs, you like to see it fall a little left. Am I right? A little draw? The issue is I don't know. I used to be, now I kind of cut them sometimes. And I okay. But my thing would be on the on the warm-up shot, I hit like a little bit of a push out yeah. right. So then I would kind of stand here and think like, okay, I probably need to aim at like the left bunker and just trust that it's going to move a little okay. We Okay. We'd, we'd like it a little bit more specific, right? Why don't we shift? You see where that fairway cuts into that left bunker on the right-hand side, right? Yeah. I would go there, so it's basically just like skimming this tree on the right. Yep. Make it a little bit more specific. Let your brain, you know, help gotcha. you out a little bit here. Okay. And then we got to commit to we're going to make a good aggressive swing and this thing's going to fall right. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Now, that is, that's like some next level stuff. And I know you only hit one shot before that, and it, you know, you pushed it and it went right and all that. 
but like there's ways you could straighten that up, right? I mean, you could strengthen the club face. You could feel more of a draw. You could, you know, literally kind of, I always call it like let the toe win. But you did the most simple thing, the easiest thing. Like, all right, I'm pretty confident that ball is going to just start a little right of my target line. So you just aimed left. Like it's, it doesn't have to be rocket science. Okay. And you pro that probably wasn't your best shot, but instead of that ball started, you know, we, we have some feedback here. That ball started 20 yards right, and it's just in the right rough. Now we're gonna have a wedge, we hit on the green, we have a look for, we have a look for birdie. Like, you weren't trying to be perfect. You were trying to start your ball just left and let it fall right, and it, I mean, you were just a fraction off and it's in the right rough. We'll Instead that. of a fraction off and we're in the trees yeah. or the jungle. We'll take yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're in fuck yeah. We're fuck yeah. Do I, should I, should I hit a shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now we gotta hear you talk oh, through God. this. Oh God. Oh God. I'm not warmed up enough to hit a three wood, which is what I would probably do. So I'm gonna be more on uh, Trent's line. The last two weeks that I've played, I've been having some, some pretty heavy curve from left to right. Okay. Now it's been predictable enough that I can just drive the ball in enough fairways, give myself enough looks. When you say not warmed up enough, you mean you don't have like the speed yet today? Or yeah, what's well, I mean, I, I also just hit one practice one and it was kind of a slap out there, which look, we love that. It's in the fairway, it doesn't matter how it got there. So I'm gonna be, I'm thinking more like Trent, like I'm looking, I'm visualizing myself hitting it high, starting it over this little tree, and they're really, I mean, I, you put a gun to my head right now, I couldn't draw one, so I'm not going to try to do that, right? I'm just, I'm going to launch this thing in the air and it should just fall right. Okay. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Exactly what you said. I mean, that's like. I hate everything about that shot because it's not struck well and it's it's not a good motion, but I, I did what I said and now I'm gonna go hit a wedge, right? Yeah. I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. There might come a time throughout an 18 hole round where I have to solve for that. Yeah. yeah. But right now, no. who cares? You know it's it'll work fairway. here. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing how if you actually think through and know and have information, how like much more Your predictable the result can be, yeah. yeah. And then when you don't hit a good one, you can be pissed off. I mean, I am, we all are. But like, be pissed off and then be like, okay, uh, Trent's there. Yeah, I mean, I tried to help that in the air. We got this thing teed up like that. You yeah. got a driver with, you know, 10 degrees aloft. Trust it, man. Like, right, yeah. club yeah. will do, the club will do some work. Your brain will do some work and the club will do some work too. Stealth, Ooh. stealth will do the work. Damn. Those were impressive golf shots, My boys. Life. <laughs> I think I just got outdriven by like 40 yards too. <laughs> My little slap fade, Frankie and Lurch bombed one. They hit him hard. Yeah. All right, big fella. Yeah. Let's, mud is, I hate mud, so. We're, we're learning, we're not trying to, no one, no one can learn how to hit a mud ball. So now we're gonna need info on these bunkers, right? Yes. I mean, maybe into the left bunker and over the right one? You know, it's about, I think, 160 into the left one, okay. the last left one. Yeah, it's probably 125 over the right one? Yeah, 120. Okay. And then, what would it be, probably two, 220 hole? We're about 227 hole. Okay. Like, with you in mind, I, if you're comfortable, I would take three wood, hybrid, something that could get closer to the green. And then, obviously, we're just, our error here is going to be at the flag or hit it at the right greenside bunker. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. Like anything other than that left bunker, anything that covers the right bunker and stays out of the left bunker, we can play from, right? Okay, yeah, right. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, then there's nothing wrong with taking a six iron and just hitting it down the fairway Yeah. and leaving ourselves a wedge, we get it up and down for par. Right. Like, it's a, you know, it's the kind of swallow your pride, I don't, and it's all, you know, early in the morning, we haven't warmed up, so that might be the better option, but there's nothing wrong with it. These guys will, you know, give you shit for laying up on a par four, but sure. when you wind up beating them, who gives a damn? Yeah, no, I don't you care. You know? Um, I'm, I'm thinking hybrid. Hybrid is like my favorite club in the bag. Okay, well, I, I am, will never, ever talk anybody off of that. And I think favorite club in the yeah. bag. Yeah. You were sold on it, like. He loves that club. Yeah, I, I wish I, I, yeah. would I should putt with this thing. I should do everything with it. Yeah. If we follow the same program, you're more more often than not your ball will cut. Yeah. Correct. For sure. So I mean, I'm looking. See those? That's 
two palm trees on the left side of the green. Yeah. Probably aim at the left one. Okay. We're gonna focus in on that left one and we're, we're just gonna hit it, right? I mean, it should, it should start there or close to there and fall right. We leave ourselves 30, 40 yards into the green and we go. Okay, I like that. Okay. Just nice and smooth here. Hybrids, I always tell myself, just get down, like hit it, you know, hit it more like an iron. Go yeah. ahead and get down, take a divot. Okay. Left palm tree, we wanna see this thing just fall a little right. Awesome, Trent. Yeah. Awesome. That's perfect. So that oh, that curve just a little bit. Yep. But that is so I I my brother and I will go we'll go field goals, right? I want my golf ball to, I pick a left barrier and a right barrier and I just want my ball to continuously end up in those all day long. And that I would have said that was definitely in our field goal. Okay. On the right half of it, but we've got a chance now to give ourselves a look for par. Okay. We avoided that left bunker. Yep. You hit it you nice strike got over this this right one. Now we have a chance to go up there, get that ball up and down, make a four or go in the next hole. Love it. Okay. Great right. shot. Good Thank shot. you. Thanks. Uh, I think I did get out driven. My little ditch slap right here in the middle. It's pretty soft. Yeah, these guys hit like little low bombs. No, we've got a golf shot here. 53. <laughs> 53, 53 downwind, oh, 53. Downwind. It's like 45 it's front, 53 hole. Now, yeah. if you were gonna pick, let's go, let's go like I would do it. If you were gonna pick a field goal. So I would go edge of the, the left edge of the right bunker to the end of the green. Yeah, I would shift it. It looks like that, I mean, I, we can play from that bunker, but it looks like that bunker is worse than if we were over on the left side, okay. like yeah. just off the green. Yeah. So can you see that sprinkler that's, yes three or four step, like I would zone in on sprinkler and edge of green. Yeah. Dude, I would have done the same field goal as you, Frankie, and that's just wrong. Yeah, like man. if you look at it, well, I'd much rather be in the left rough over there yeah. and in that hill where there's a backstop. Yes, there will come a time where, I mean, part of my field goal is the right rough or right. the right bunker. Right. And it's right. like, yes, I don't want to hit it there. And you yeah. focus in. And then at that point, if usually if my field goal includes you know, trouble, rough, or a bunker. You just, you zone in kind of in theory on more of the flag, right? right. Like usually that's because, right. all right, I know it's okay over there. I know it's okay over there. I'm just gonna, okay, I'll just hit at the flag. Dude, that's so interesting that you're actually telling yourself and, or us right now that like, I'm actually, that last 10 or 15 feet of rough on the left is part of my intentional landing zone. Yeah, like, could, and yeah, that's, could be. And that's so smart yeah. than being in that bunker because from almost all of us, we're fucked in that bunker. Yeah, but if I dropped you ten balls in the bunker and ten balls in the left rough, yeah. you're better off. You're gonna get it closer to the hole and make par more often from the left rough. Yeah, that's really interesting. So now we man. fall to we're 53, 45 front, 53 hole, and we're with downwind. The wind, do you take it about like a 45? I would. 45 I would love. Yeah, zoning all in on the 45 number. That's a nine iron. Okay, that yeah, that falls to you. I don't yet know distances. <laughs> Well, it's honestly between, like, I could try and not a pitching wedge, but I'd rather just swing. It's my first iron shot of the day. Well, if I really get it, I can go 155. Okay, you've got, in line with the flag, 170 yards is the rough. So you've got 169 behind the flag is all green. So from 53 to 169, it's all green. Okay. So nine irons, you should then, so when you, so you just said, if I, I can hit nine iron, a good nine iron, 155, that means you need that last little bit of info. How much room do I have past it? Right. Okay, I got 170 yards past it. That should get you back into, this is a pretty comfortable nine iron. Okay. Yes, if you hit a great shot, it might go 20 feet long, whatever. And now we're focusing in. I mean, it's gonna fly pretty straight, Frankie. You know, just with it being downwind, the ball doesn't curve a ton. So this would be, hey man, down the smokestack. We're going right at the flag here. Down the smokestack. Off the right upright. Okay. On the green. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Good shot. I think it stayed just above it in the fringe. Yeah, okay. you saw that. But there's the difference, right? I mean, I almost told you pitching wedge, go for it. Like hit a hard wedge, which I think you could have pulled off, obviously, because because short looks also a little better than long. Totally. Like if you just nut that, it gets jet streaming in the wind, we might actually, you know, have dribbled it over the green into the rough. Right. But we stuck with nine. And we covered that bunker. Right. And your intentional aim, you missed your field goal by 
eight feet, which right, is right. well, yeah. well below tour average from here. So right. you just gave yourself a better chance to make a score on the hole by, for one second, being a little bit more specific. Yeah, and had you not moved my initial target over to the left, I probably would have pulled it even more to be honest because I did I had a mental thought right before to be like all right let's let's like close it in a little bit more than I'm comfortable with and I still pulled it um, well you might hit that right down slope you know you what might I mean? hit that like right down slope Michael right, yeah right it just minimizes your yeah. mistakes when yeah. you find the right spot to at least yeah and the next time a shot like this would come up and you have that thought it's okay to remind yourself that missing it just a little left here on this shot right. is good too right, right. like if you've got these things, and, it, and you don't always have to, like you don't have to back off yeah, and yeah, take yeah. forever, but it's like, okay, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna feel, and I loved what you said and did. It's like, yeah, I'm, I felt like, okay, I felt like I was aimed a little further left than maybe I normally would. And then just last seconds be like, okay, turn it into a positive. Okay, I can still be aggressive at the flag. A left miss is good. So we can just kind of, you can kick it onto the green from there and make a four. Man, you might be able to hold a pot. I get you, big boy. Yeah, I did not. I <laughs> you get you, though? Uh, on the angle, who knows? <laughs> I think Riggs might have gotten me, too, on the angle. Must be the new driver. Must be the new driver. Yeah. Help, baby. Ooh, we're looking like we're flying out of there. Yeah, so now this is this gets a little bit more interesting. You got a jumpy one. You got 38 hole. Okay. And it's like 28, 29 to the front. Okay. So what would you, maybe pitching wedge from here? I would say it, early in the morning like this, if we were playing the raw number, 136 would be probably like a choke down an inch nine iron. Okay. But so raw is kind of out, like especially from rough. Yeah. Downwind, like I would focus more in on that front number, 28, right. 29, 29 and 38. 29 to the front, 38 to the hole. Now a flyer will happen when you swing, hit the ball and grass, gets in between the club face and the ball, right? Like a little less friction, it'll just jump off. You won't get the same amount of spin. So you have to grab your wedge or nine iron and you know, it's not crazy set it in there and, and see, but like, you know, I, I like to set it down and get an idea. It's like, okay, there's, I will for sure have grass between the club face and the ball. This will for sure fly. This is kind of, we're getting into educated or non-educated guesses. Hold on, so you drop right? your club and then, so if, it, if, if it's below the Well, just the set ball, it in she's there. She's saying like, right, even right in here? You like, can go, I mean, you go a little closer. Like there, that, I would like, say. There's grass. Yeah, I would say that will be hard to avoid. A flyer. Grass getting in between, right? So right. now I'm on wedge. Same, Yeah. okay. And, and then, then, look, we gotta live with, if it comes out normal, which sometimes it does, we gotta live with short, right? I mean, short yeah. is also fine here. So now we're on front edge number. We're on 29 or 30. Yep. We're on, it's okay, short. And then for you, like I wouldn't include, if, if it doesn't come out hot flying, I wouldn't include anything right of this flag. Yeah. Cause you know, we could see this ball, if it comes out a little weak or normal and it's just right of it, it could kick right into that bunker. Right, which... So our field goal is flag and edge of green. Okay. And then I think, you're on a little bit of a you know right to left slope, yep. just a fraction. So I would be okay if you wanted to go, like I'm gonna hit this at the flag. Maybe that shadow that's two pace, you know, past the flag that's yep. two paces left of I it. I see. And then let's just try try to hit a 30 shot with a wedge. Hopefully it jumps a little bit, lands soft, birdie putt. Oh, Augusta. Okay, that for sure jumped. Now just plug golf shot really good oh look we got a little bonus Ooh, a little green, roll to the right green moves a little i don't right. know i didn't know that would do that but perfect okay see that, that was, was really like that was really interesting that you told me basically like if my field goal is pinned to the left of the green then in theory like the middle of my field goal my really good shot for me yeah. there is like 20 feet left of the pin that's yeah. where i'm actually trying to hit it yeah which is so interesting. Yeah. I mean, now, like, you can't really, in theory, mess that up from right. there, right? Right? Wow. You've got 20, 20, 18 to 20 feet up the hill for birdie. Instead of trying to land it from the rough, downwind, you know, short and right of the flag, getting it's it to kick it left, right. like, that brings that bunker into play. For no reason. You hit reason. 10 balls there, it brings the bunker into play every single time. Stress-free golf is as 
great wow. as anything. <laughs> Stress-free golf. Hey, There's hey. nothing wrong with tap-in parks. No. Nothing wrong. You got to get it there, though. Well, yeah, you got to actually, you got to be. Yeah, you got to be. Got to be an athlete. Yeah. We got to hit some. Yeah. You know, we got to have some skills. Yeah. But you guys actually have skills. Well, or some. All right, we're 31 hole. 31 hole. 20 to the front. Okay. Cover that bunker on the right. Oh, now I fucking love where your head's at. I would ask for the same 24 would be over the bunker. Okay. Now we're still not, we're gonna do everything in our power to yeah. not include no. that bunker. Right, but, but God I, forbid. I would have a 25 shot in the yeah. bag yeah, in yeah. mind for this. Yeah. And I love that number with it being downwind. Yeah. Give me your, give me your 20, 125 yard shot. And I'm kind of just going maybe like a half flag stick right of it. Okay, so that's that would be our right edge. Yeah. Okay. I don't, and I do not disagree with that. We're kind of on. You can see. Can you see the shadow of yeah. the flag whipping? Yeah. That's even a little further right than yeah, you thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that if you're comfortable covering 25 with this. Yep. It's almost just dead at it. Though. You right now are trying to hit this dead at it because yeah. you can. You've told me you can cover that bunker over there on the right. Yep. Zone in on that flag. Give me 125. Perfect. Should kick right as well. Stay right there. Okay. All right. You just missed that right kick, but like. Yeah. Not a great golf shot. It wasn't your best. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But you didn't aim. You didn't no, try no. to do anything. Like, you didn't try to be a hero. No, but I just. You would have liked to hit a better yeah. shot. <laughs> yeah. 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 But like, you can roll out of your sleep and hit, you know, get that up and down. Some people can. That's actually you can. where I struggle. Yeah, you can. Well, I mean, you, you can just putt the damn thing. Right, right. Right? Yeah, I, no, mean, I know. That's where getting within four feet can be difficult. Yeah, you did get me. I have 37. What's up, Harry? Fucker. <laughs> ah, this sucks because this is a bad number. I'll try to massage a wedge. Why is this a bad number for you? Like, what are you thinking right there? So. Like 140, 142 is just a pretty much close your eyes and hit it pitching wedge. 128, you know, 130 is a nice full gap wedge. And I'm right in between them and also have it downwind. So I'm not, I do not feel, I don't feel like I have the uh, strike quite yet to be able to stretch the gap wedge there. So I'm just gonna go just kind of, three, probably, yeah, more of a three quarter wedge. And that also, that also buys me in theory everything past it, right? Past that bunker if I happen to, I mean, it would be a bad shot if I hit it over there somewhere near that bunker, but it buys me, it's kind of similar to what, what Lurch just did. Like I, I'm for sure hitting this ball at least 125 yards, yeah. right? And I will for sure hit this probably at least 135 of the 137. Yeah. So I, at that point, knowing that, like I can, field goal is gonna be pretty tight. I mean, uh, we can go over to maybe just inside that sprinkler that Frankie hit it at and just inside, you know, and Riggs's ball. Good shot. Okay. Nice. Really good. In the gap, maybe just a little short. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I got a putt for birdie, I'm going, I'm, I'm good, yeah. I'm good. And you haven't you said hit. a single positive thing about like the way your game feels yet. And you're like, yeah, you got I mean, 10, it's, 15 I'm a little, feet for birdie. I'm, I'm a little stiff and yeah. you know, it's been a long year, but. <laughs> But even then, like that's more evidence that, so if you don't feel good about your game, but you do a really good job before you hit each shot, right. you've just given yourself a better chance. Right, 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 that's incredible. Just give, we're just trying give people like, hey, just think for a second. And right. I know this is, this is taking us a no. long time, but well, I, like, I think the you can do this very quickly right, right, while right. you play too. Right. I'll get in more trouble if I try to hit that hard 52. Right. Then just, all right, I'm just going to take a wedge. Right, I took a 56. Pick a, yeah, pick a nice tight gap. Well, you're a bomber. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, a, I did outdrive you. Well, buy a fraction. Yeah, buy a fraction. <laughs> buy a fraction. All right, let's go get. We'll go get Trent's up and down and hold some birdie putts. Do it. Oh, I'm gonna have a nice little fucking wedge up there. Yikes! I got caught. All right. All right. I'm happy with this. This is from from where we were. I mean, again, this was in our field goal. This is a pretty good lead. Oh uh, yeah, I would I mean, be very happy with this. Yeah. 71 hole. Okay. 60 to the front. Okay. So it's it's pretty similar here, right? I mean, I think I, I find it okay to acknowledge that at first, something maybe more negative, we don't want to hit this ball in that bunker. Right. Right? Yeah. It's okay to be like a little negative, acknowledge a hazard out there, as long as we work towards picking a shot, picking a target that gets us more positive and more confident in hitting the golf shot. Right. right. I mean, I would be locked in on 
that front number here, 60, 62, 63 yards. Okay. And then, I, I mean, just hit it right at my ball. Okay. Right? Just left of the flag? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, we, we want everything in our power here to make sure that this ball comes down left of the flag, right? So yeah. interesting. So in my dumb brain, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, I want it to start or land on the right side of the hole to trickle left to it. Sure. That's what would have been my thought too. Yeah. Right, but you're saying always be below the hole, in a sense. Well, yeah. That, now there will come a because time. Because the bigger miss is staying on the high side. Sure, like if you I mean, don't bigger misses it. and then also having it you know, come out soft out of this rough right. and you, you it leaks right. a little right and it hits that slope and that rolls back into the bunker. Right. Now instead of having a chance for four, you know, should in theory make an easy bogey here too. Yeah. Now we've brought in five, six, right. seven, right. right? I like that. Yeah, at no point am I in a position to hit a hero shot like that. At least well, not, yeah. certainly not right now. And there will come a time, and I, I mean, it happens to all of us that it's like, all right, I'm I'm in this yeah. spot. I gotta, you know, I gotta land this ball 65 and right of it. Like I gotta hit a golf shot here. Hit a good one, T. Yeah, I'd love to. You know, why don't we just do it? Let's just do it. Fuck the, I love to. We've we've given ourselves a perfect plan. Give me 62 in the air, right at my ball. Oh, that's gonna be. Oh. Okay, I mean, you had the right yeah. line. Yeah. I, I loved that you hit it right at my golf ball. Yeah. It is so easy for people to fall in love with the flag, fall in love with the fact that if I land it right at the flag, like like we just talked about, and you missed your spot by three yards. Yeah. Yeah, so it's unfortunate that ball didn't bounce up. You know, a bit of rain here the last couple of days. Like, that we're, we're really close to being on the front edge there and having, having our 15 footer for par. And look, if he doesn't, if he aims at his original spot, he's in the bunker, bunker. Yeah. and he's never getting out. Yeah. Never. Well, I don't know if you've seen the videos on the internet, but I'm never getting out. Uh, okay, well, we'll spend some time in the bunker. I'll make sure you can get it out. <laughs> yeah, where you were told to hit it, where you told yourself to hit it, you hit it there. Right. There's also evidence in that. You're now three for three in doing that. You've hit yeah. it where you told yourself you were going to. Feel a little bit more confident yeah, about it. Yeah, just fucking tell yourself where to hit it. Make right? a decision. Make your brain do some work. There's, I don't know anything about what, what or why, but your brain's gonna do the work for you. Right. I don't hate the fucking putter too, right? Like that. I would putt this in a match. Okay, then you just putt it. Yeah, well, I don't understand why it would change. Yeah, you just putt it. We're trying, to make, a, we're trying to make a good score on the hole. Right, and I'm always in this, this weird world where I always wanna learn how to hit this shot, and I never realize it's like, this well, is not the place to learn this shot. Ah, uh, you just answered it. This is not the place. This is the place to shoot good scores. It's not the place to, well, you can learn something, but it's not the place to try some hero shit, you know? That's a putt then. It's a putt. Like, why not just get this thing on the green? I love your choice in putter. Has to be. Yeah, 100%. Yep. Yeah. And now we're just getting into doing our best to feel how hard we need to hit this. Yes. This putt is clearly going to break. I think it's going to break pretty good from right to left. Yep. This fringe, looks really good, right? Like, yeah. it doesn't look like it's going to, you're gonna need to hit it, you're gonna need to hit a little harder, but it's not long and overgrown. It doesn't look like you're really gonna need to smash it through this fringe. Right. So now we're just focusing in on, are right, we've got an uphill 30 footer that's gonna break from right to left. You see this old hole? Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be out here on the right hand side of that. Okay. Like this thing is going to move hard from right to left. Yeah. So now we, you got a spot. We've accounted for you know the roll through the fringe. Now it's you know like shooting a free throw. You just got to be an athlete back there and give me the give me your best attempt at the correct speed. This is maybe a little too next level, but on a longer putt, I like to visualize the middle of it. I can almost picture how fast the ball is rolling in here to get that ball close to the hole there. That's that's my preference. It doesn't need to be like that. Yeah. But just give me give me your best attempt at feeling, visualizing the speed of this putt. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay. I was worried okay. about the French. Listen, yeah. you're allowed to be mean out here. Yeah, you can be really mean. Yeah, that it was not very good. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it was not very good. I tend to agree. I just wanted more lessons from you. Yeah, you spend a little time on the putting green, figuring yeah. out this. The feedback pace. there is don't hit it as well. Yeah. Feedback there is get fucking better. Yeah. 
Feedback is they're going to take my clubs away before I leave. We've already come to the conclusion that we're done trying to make things happen on the golf yeah, course that just, we can't make happen. We're trying to make a good score. We're trying to get the ball in the hole. Yeah, absolutely. And my best bet is to just putt this thing out of here. Hell, there's probably guys on tour that would putt that. Right. Like, right, because once you get it on, it's going to kind of just filter over there. Couldn't agree more. You had the same thought. I mean, shit, it feels like all we got to do is get this ball into here. And it's just going to kind of roll right through. So you're visualizing the hole being right here, and I'm just going to roll it right over it, and it's yeah, going to kind of die. Yes and no. It's more, it's more speed than anything else. If this ball rolls, you see this guy? Yep. If this ball rolls on the inside of him at perfect speed, it goes in the hole. I think you just focus on this as your hole. Right. And let the, let the slope, let fucking gravity do the work. Okay, we hit our spot and just crushed hit it a little it. too hard. Man, we went right over that spot, yeah. but I crushed it. So, good. And you just know that you hit it a little too hard. Yeah, they look a little quick. We could have, we might have hit quick. a putt they're or quick. two. They're quick, they feel quick. Um, T, you think they're a little quick? They're quick, babe. Okay. That <laughs> rolled fast. really good through that rough, too. It did. But Frankie, like, you grab your wedge from there. Yeah. You hit a bad shot with a putter. Right. That was not your best, you know that. Right. You have oh, I would seven I, feet, seven feet for the Paul. Crazy thing is with the wedge, I'm like walking up here with a little seven like cocky Paul. swagger right. walk. I'm like, yeah. fuck yeah, I'm right there. Now, big guy, we've seen, yeah, we've seen it. speed. We've seen it rolls good through the fringe. Yeah, we should be. We gotta be an athlete here. here. You are a little uphill, right? But there's actually two old cups that are kind of a nice I guiding line. I love when we get. I love getting old holes in my way because then Same. it feels like I can make them twice. Same. If I just stay kind of on the <laughs> left edge of that. With the speed, because I think it's fast. So I think it's gotta feels like I can make it twice. I totally agree, totally agree. I would, yeah. That first one, yeah. Just try to hold it in that. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that. Now give me some speed. Give me some touch, baby. Touch, baby. We cashed it. Hit hard. Mm. Oh, See, that's going nice. They're rolling good though. I they can't wait. Good. I mean. Can't wait for the lesson on that one. Yeah, that's. There's no, I mean, you just everybody's hitting them a little too hard. Yeah. You know, spend spend five minutes on the putting green before you go out and play. They're quick, but I mean, you just rolled it right through the spot. You told yourself. Totally, no, it felt right good. It was just, it. and I even didn't even Frankie think I did, hit that Frankie very did hard. the same shit. He rolled yeah. it right over that piece of grass. Right, we can hit it firm and hard. Trent's on the, right the only line. one we don't know whether he rolled it where he <laughs> where he was intending to. We've seen three dipshit attempts at the right speed. So at this point, we, I like my chances to get a good speed on this. Just a little out on the left-hand side. One out of four. Pretty good. Sit. That's perfect speed. Really well done. Perfect speed. Very and easy. there's just absolutely nothing wrong. You wanna finish up or are you good? No, we, we give those. We give My those. game, that's good. Thank you. There's just absolutely nothing wrong. I'll take that. Tap in pars. No. Tap in pars over 18 holds. Mm. Mm. That'd be nice. There's no way I'd miss Never this. Never sniff now. that. You guys scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> scared See that the he's shit over here with a big smile on his face. <laughs> scared the shit out of what me. What I do. All right, Trent, now we've got it up and downhill. Yes, sir. Again, we're kind of trying to tap into some athleticism, give ourselves the right speed here. I think a good spot to focus on would be right in about here. Like this is kind of the hole we'd like to putt it to. You hole it here, it's going to get down to the hole. Yeah. Just give me your best attempt. And if, if it takes more focus on this spot and less focus on the hole to get you to hit a little softer, let's try that. But I mean, we're just going to kind of trial and error, see what gets us the right speed because we may be lacking some athleticism. Oh, girl. oh boy. Oh, hit my tee. Crash. Hit something. Crash. Hit something. I would have loved had you ended up there after the first putt. This is why I've been in triple digits for 30 years. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> this up, right here. Gotti. Stay hot. <laughs> when you're hot, T. Oh yeah. No, no, this, no. Putt, this putt should be really <laughs> straight. So now we're now we're hopefully gonna hit at the right speed. And just focusing in right at the back, right at the back of the hole. So, speed is something that oh, ideally yeah. you work on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you did a really good job to get it there in three. You did. Yeah. 
Let's just try to make, let's just try to make five. Agreed. You're going to be, an, you want my help? You want to be an athlete here? Like this is, a, this is a greasy one. When you get this close to the hole, both of your putts here, you've got to pick the speed first before fucking anything. Okay. Like if you dribble this thing, you could put it probably all the way out to here. That's kind of where I have it right okay. now. Well then, okay, so this ball here, you got it, the speed is it just falls in the front edge. It doesn't hit the back of the hole, it just falls in the front edge. So we're out here. I do, I like that line. We're out here, and now we're just focusing on seeing that thing fall into the front edge. And this is gonna be quick. Focus on that spot, one last kind of speed thought, falling into the front edge and go. Cold girl. Awesome. Oh, oh baby. Nice putt. Frankie. Awesome. Bang. Burgers. <laughs> it's a burger day. That had a little speed to it coming in. <laughs> that was a little lower and harder, but Fuck it, went in the hole. Yeah, who, cares? who cares? Take it for any day of the week. Big man, are we are we gonna go high and hard? Or are we gonna go, or sorry, high and soft? We're we gonna go low and hard. High and soft. Okay, so high I mean, and soft. I think, yeah. Would just I think it's just kind of yeah. out in here. Yeah, 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 same. Ball out. Yep. Same thing. It's just dripping over the front edge. Yep. Dripping over the front edge. You're aimed a little too far left. Good. High and soft. Atta baby, you actually hit wow. it high and soft. Wow. Fuck yeah. That did not hit the back of the hole like dipshits. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Easy work. Here you go, dipshit. Easy work. <laughs> nice work. Hey, nice up and down. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Good up and down. That was awesome. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this guy knows. My there was like names a couple... on my fucking bag. Like, I, I make a lot of yeah. money playing this game. Yeah. There's a couple real cool takeaways. The field goal and the, the flag doesn't have to be the middle of the field goal. No. Nope. Big takeaway. Yeah. Nope. That's, not, nope. that's not even a thing. I go probably three, four times around where the flag is in the middle. And then I'm worried, yeah. Like, yes. 67 hole and 67, 42 front. Pen's gotta be back. Yeah, what would that be? 42 and 67, 25, so it's 25 Jeez. on. It's a lot. There's like a pretty big green, huh? Yeah, I think there's more room behind it too. I mean, I'm of the thought that you never want to hit it long of a back flag. No. So we should be more locked into, I'd say 60 in the air would be our max. Yeah. And right here and now seeing this golf hole, field goal is actually probably going to include some of that right bunker. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, it, looks like, it looks like we, that we're not short-sighted in that bunker. Right. You know, if it just stays in there, we can splash it out, give ourselves a look at par. It looks like if we get aggressive to this flag and miss it over there on the left, right. we're going to have a harder time getting it up and down than if it were to just end up in that bunker. Right. I mean, it looks like we're not going any further left than the flag. So the flag is our left field goal. Oh. And then I would, that little, what do they call those bushes? Pampas bush, whatever these things are. Pussy yeah. flowers? Sure. sure. The middle bush would be our right. Yeah, I'm kind of splitting that middle bush and the flag, yeah. Perfect. And you're a drawer, so I'd zone in on that middle bush yep. and make our swing here. Let that ball just draw to the hole. No. Yes. Yeah. What are you saying no at? Well, because I lost the... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Why is he saying no? Well, because I would usually 16? start that at the flag and it felt and like would, I tugged it. Yeah. And then... You got a good coach. Yeah. Yeah. Also, so maybe we don't aim at every flag we play. Also, what were you saying that it doesn't move as much left to right down? Downwind, downwind yeah, I've never known the that. golf really? ball will no. have a, a little just... less spin, right? Like if you hit a downwind shot on a firmer green, it's it's harder to stop, right? Right, right. So it has less spin. Less spin is always less curve. Okay. Into the wind will exaggerate curve, you know? I'm, I'm talking field goals, I think, from now on. Yeah, baby. We're oh, kicking field goals. I'm just trying to like kick that. field goals. <laughs> right. Kick field goals, baby. Right. Some of those guys so can't kick for so. shit either. My iron play, I'm almost identical to him in terms of, like, I hook it. So okay. I would think almost so we're, the same we're way. looking right at that middle bush, and we are, we're, like, you can take a look at the flag, too, but, I mean, last look should just be middle bush and swing. Okay. You know, swing and trust that draw is coming. Okay. Awesome. Uh, hang in just a bit. Just right. a bit. Right. Okay. okay. On the green. green. It's on the green. Not my best, but the field yeah. goal. No. Field, field goal. goal kept that ball from landing left, bouncing left, getting into the rough. Like, uh, the other thing is you were aimed a little further right than that bush. Okay. 
So it may, it might not have been like a poor swing. Your brain probably took over and knew gotta that like, oh, I gotta, I gotta give this a little bit more. Okay. Frankie, we still fading irons? Yeah. You're thinking the left side of the bunker, maybe not even left edge, okay. but like the left meaty part of the bunker. Okay. And I'm but that bunker's, we're, we're, we're okay if that ball ends up in the bunker. Also, oh, you would so think I'd I'm gonna include a little more. bit more of that bunker. Uh, Center right bunker is my yeah, edge. I mean, yeah. Again, a little bit more specific. We got these bushes in front of us. Why don't we go the gap in between the middle and the right bush? Okay. And then we can go all the way over to the flag. Yep. Let it rip, baby. Oh, no. I mean, that didn't feel oh, good. No, it's going to catch the edge of the green. Deep. Just off, but I mean, look, that's if we aim at the flag swing. and do that, yeah, it's right. down by the carpet. Totally, that's I a field goal I, thing. Yeah, he missed the field goal, but yes. not by a ton. No, yeah. now if field goal center green. You're big fella. on the card path left. It, it makes a big so difference. So here and now, right? You got 115 over this sandy area. Okay. 43 front, 67 hole. Okay. So I love something that you can hit about you know 150 yards. Yep. So we're just kind of trying to get that ball right in that front third of the green and let it chase back there. Okay. You feel like you can give me 150 out of this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then let's go do it. All right. Now, it's the same thing, Trent. If this ball wanders just a little bit over to the right, yeah. we're cool. So I would do, I mean, a field goal here would be the flag, and I'd give you even all the way over to the edge of that bunker. Stock eight iron. Smashed it. Yeah. Golf shot. Great Good shot. One, T. Golf shot. Love that. Eight was it? Or what'd you use? No, that's a seven. Oh, okay. Good shot, T. I didn't know. Yeah. Wasn't your best? It, it wasn't your best, but yeah, you just hit it to 20 feet. Yeah, no, that's good. Like, that's real good. Yeah, no, I know. I yeah. mean, in terms of the shot that, that you had been hitting and that we thought was going to come, we yeah. thought that ball would actually fall all right and we might have a we might have a tap in. Yeah, right. Totally cool. Yep. We did a good job of where we were aiming, where we were trying to hit it. We hit a, a very good shot, 20 feet. Absolutely. It's pretty simple. This game is not as hard as people make it. It's unreal, really. Yeah. It's just not. I'm a field, field goal, goal thing. guy. Yeah, field yeah. For yeah, now so on, that's yeah. the big lesson. Like field goal was something. If you, if you start zoning it, you know, we had to right. keep calling Frankie off. Right. Like I like the center of that bunker. Let's With just give target. me a little bit more specific. Target, just a little bit more specific. Right. There is almost always something out yes. there to hit a golf ball. Yes. Almost always. Yes. And if you don't have something out there, you play it somewhere where there's got, there's no surrounds, no nothing. Get behind the ball and pick something in front of it. Not rocket science. Right. We're saying it's uh, it's incredible because we've said and people have said forever and we've like learned or we thought we'd learn that you don't don't aim for flag sticks, aim for the middle of the green. But actually, the field goal thing, the middle of the green, like the middle of the green by that philosophy for us was almost the right edge of the green. Yeah, right. It's yeah, like yeah. the middle. Yeah, I mean, yes. Here and now, we were with how this hole was presented. We were including some of that right bunker. Right, right. right. We get in that bunker, right. and I mean, you get a bad lie or something, which fucking happens because this game is stupid. Yeah, you might make bogey. But like you get in that bunker, we've got plenty of room, we splash it out, a little downwind bunker shot too, it's just gonna roll to the hole. Right. No, because I like Riggs and I were talking, it's like the amateur line is like, yeah, we're gonna play better if you just take the flag six out and you just hit to the middle every time. Hell no. It's like, no. Hell no. That's wrong. Let's like give ourselves right. the give us easy the spot. Right, I right, mean, right, which is a good takeaway. Yeah, I, I, mean, I finished fourth at Kiowa, I almost won a major, and there were some shots that I was not even trying to get my ball on the green. Shit, Love rocket it. science, boys. Wow. Love it. You're the man. Yeah, yeah this has been great, awesome, man. Thank you. Pleasure. Appreciate it. You guys are Lesson skilled. With Harry. You guys are skilled. We're not good golfers. Just not smart. We're, you're not good golfers yet. Okay. Ooh, we're okay. skilled Ooh. golfers that are learning how to be good. Good means that you're good when you're also not good. <laughs> uh, I think I said last night, I pride myself on being really good at shitty golf. Right. And that's because of all of this stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. It's almost just like <laughs> dodging the landmines that are going on when you're not swinging it that well, right? Right. You're awesome. It's an absolute pleasure. You're the best. An absolute pleasure. We got a little serious on everybody. I think yeah, I cursed okay. just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. So but. now you're, you know that you just taught us up so that when we play you in the four-man scramble, we're just going to beat you now. Because it will happen for everybody that's, I mean, people are yelling at me that it needs to happen. It will happen. Um, I'm curious to see, because I ain't going to help either one of you guys then. <laughs> That's fine. I'm curious That's to see fine. if... I might kick over your back. And I'm going to make it really hard for you guys to 
continue to focus on this stuff. Like, it'll be a lot of extra noise and all this. I'm going to give you the treatment that I have to deal with. Yeah. You also have to do this when people are screaming and yelling at you, don't chuck it in the water. Like, I'm going to make this shit hard, boys. And if you continue to focus on these things, just even briefly, in theory, it's going to be harder for me to beat you. Now, I hold all the cards. If I want to go out and make a bunch of birdies, game on. <laughs> game on. We look forward to the challenge. Oh, I, there, it, will, it will happen. I love it. Love cool. it. Thank cool. you. Right. Appreciate it. Take Thanks, care. Bro. Enjoy the day. Thank you.